If you're a parent interested in basically preventing malware infections in your network and maybe even limits the amount of porn getting to any of your children's devices, today's episode might be one that's helpful with a few suggestions. But first, my name is Steve, this is TQA Weekly, and let's talk about Cloudflare for families. Parents and children around the world alike are sheltering in place because of COVID-19, which means you're spending a lot more time on the internet and the longer you spend online, the more likely you are to get infected. Also, the fact that you're leaving some teenagers out there unsupervised with their devices means that they will undoubtedly try to access porn. So, you have to mitigate this risk one way or another. And Cloudflare for families is one of the ways that you can use to block these eventualities. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We all know that it is impossible for Cloudflare to block unknown malware. So what I'm interested to know is how well it deals in known malware itself, and this could prove useful for many businesses in the long run. The actual issue though, will always be with the adult content filter deployed by Cloudflare and other companies. See, usually these kinds of filters are keyword based and tend to block websites related to science, biology, and of course, LGBTQ. And because of this, many, many groups out there will be full on furious with them for blocking all these kinds of stuff. First, let's, let's use some common sense here. There is no way that employees are manually flagging websites around the world for adult content. It is A, not viable, and B, if you have never seen the faces of people that flag inappropriate content after long days of work, you probably should, because it's detrimental to their health. So we obviously want automated filters in place. No, what I'm gonna do is suggest a way in which you and your family can use these services appropriately in a way that does not become a detriment to the usage that you intend to use with it by starting with a two step DNS setup system. And there's not going to be any specific instructions, but I will leave a link down below with all the information that you will need to set this up. So first at the router level, you can use the malware only filtering to allow every single computer to enjoy malware protection from Cloudflare's new DNS for families features. This will allow every single device the ability to gain access to the internet without the risk of known malware. Remember, unknown malware will always be an issue. Now, because you cannot be basically supervising your children and teenagers, what you will want to do is to set up the DNS for malware and adult content manually on every single device. Hopefully you have parental access to the device so that you can set those things up in a way where they cannot modify it. On each of the unsupervised devices, you would use the feature for DNS from Cloudflare that blocks both malware and porn and be sure to make spot checks. Don't announce when you're going to do it. That way they can't quickly change it back behind your back. No, when you set up those things, each of these unsupervised devices will not be able to access porn and will not be infected by malware. You can set up a public access computer to allow people to enjoy science websites, biology websites, and have in-depth discussions on issues related to LGBTQ and other kinds of topics related to that kind of stuff that are, how do we say, better talked with between parents and children. Because many people out there are in a state of flux right now, and they're gonna be a lot more emotional and maybe, just maybe, some of them will be confused and need a little bit more guidance. I don't believe that blocking everything is the way to do it, but maybe supervising how people access the internet 
is going to be a much better and more viable option. Is this service going to be great? Probably, eventually. Is there a way to set this up correctly? Of course. Is this going to be perfect? Hell no. But this is something that you can actually play with while you are stuck inside during this pandemic. Like if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. Share with those who think and benefit from this. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tkwayweekly.com or go to my website, tkwayweekly.com, where you can see the show notes for this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing, and of course, use the contact form to email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games like The Witcher 3, go to twitch.tv slash zaxis1981. There is a schedule there, and I will change it periodically, so obviously go there to see when I will be playing. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.